jumping back to RuboCon, we could not leave without one of Lady Lacey's favorite things ever to pick up any time. Mystery bags! <laughs> I love mystery bags! <laughs> She got four of them. I did. <laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy, man. You're crazy. These mystery bags are $5 a piece, and they're supposedly about 25, $20 to $25 value inside. There could be signed comics in there. There's art, random stuff. Without further ado, shall we see what's in them? Yes, please. So, bag number one. <laughs> Check it out. It's a sealed PlayStation magazine uh, from the UK, actually. Interesting. Retro Perspective. You might have actually covered this one. Something neat, though, are the DualShock 4 thumb grips. So they're still sealed in there. That's that's actually kind of funny. All right. Well, there was a uh, Aquaman, and it's a Regal Cinema exclusive of Black Manta. And there actually is a $39.99 sticker in here. Holy so. geez. Bit pricey. Well, uh, <laughs> we got a little <laughs> pirate do-rag for Pirates in the Caribbean, and it's a uh, Mickey pirate. That is adorable. I love that. That's yeah. so cute. Well, this could go really well with your uh, matching ears. I know. I do have matching pirate Mickey ears. And we have a Gryffindor scarf um, badge holder, so either badge and or wallet, because there's several actually different oh. holes here. Oh, handy. There you go. Yeah, so that's kind of neat from... Mr. Harry Potter World. Uh, so deco trim, 10 pieces, 15 foot, uh, Dr. Seuss. We got a bunch of who's it's here. Okay. <laughs> uh, actually, it looks like the cat in the hat cast. So you've got the cat, <laughs> you've got the kids, and you've got thing one and two, also known as Chocolate Thunder. You will also accept Super Thing Thing King oh. Kid Dynamite my Whoa. Chocolate Thunder or Dead. <laughs> And then there's a three pack of Hot Wheels cars and uh, not a bad color actually, the kind of like an orangey fall red color, so I like them. Neat. Bag two. All right, well, first glance, I kind of like everything in here except the baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Looks like we've got a Team Soft Sport Braves themed baseball. I just not into sports. And check it out, we got Harry Potter Uno. All right, that's actually pretty I know, cool. That's pretty awesome. That's actually. very fitting for you, Harry Potter yes. fan. Love your tabletop games. I do. We actually have a couple themed ones. I think we have a Mario and a Zelda themed Uno. So now we have Harry Potter. One. Now you can lay them all out and be like, pick your Uno poison. <laughs> this one apparently comes includes a special rule. You can death spell someone. Oh my gosh, you don't get to play. <laughs> well, we got some. Uh, transparent make it blocks are they glow in the dark or just like neon green uh, uh, they say great for pairing with led light up blocks sold separately so they don't glow in the dark but you could make them glow kind of with the glow. light fun and we got some i need my space socks and rangers unite socks from toy story 4. and last a mermaid yep mermaid sirene she's cute though she's blue i like it is her tail squishy it is not. It looks like it would be. Very, very cheap plastic. But you know what? If you want to go playing in the pool, you don't really want something really expensive. So. <laughs> look, it's a beard comb. <laughs> and look, she has a fishy friend. It's supposed to be not flounder. Three. All right, well, we got a little Cabbage Patch baby. <laughs> Interesting. Take her back to the 80s and sell her for big bucks. Oh, this is a perfect attendance. So if you get perfect attendance, you have a baby? Well, we got uh, three nice little base plates, different colors here. 
And honestly, as long as the Lego figures fit on these, these are fantastic. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with those. Dinosaurs! Oh my gosh. Look at all the dinosaurs. <sighs> They're gonna come for the baby. Oh, geez. Oh, what's up with that dinosaur? With, no, his foot. Oh, oh. <laughs> He's got a, like a, another hand for a foot. <laughs> we'll have to name him after my friend, Mr. McGreg. With a leg for an arm and an arm for a leg. And we've got a Harley Quinn Mighty Wallet. Man, these were all the rage for a while. Yeah. Mad Love. Ooh, you know what? I think I remember that episode. This is based off of the Batman animated series. And uh, who didn't freaking love Harley Quinn from that cartoon anyway? Don't you want to rev up your Harley? Vroom, vroom. Looks like we've got some Archie comic super special. Holy cow, that is huge. It is huge. Get all of your Archie on. So what do you think, nerdlings? Who should Archie go for? Betty? Veronica? Sabrina the Teenage Witch, because why not? <laughs> and last, we have one of the Force Link 2.0, little Bluetooth things that uh, bring the galaxy to life, apparently. And this includes a young Han Solo figure, if you accept the Han Solo movie, I guess. And then we have a weird little mystery box. Toki Doki. Toki Doki. I don't, uh, is that like a pirate? Like, hmm. Unicorn Pegasus Mermaid? That's exactly what it is, obviously. It's got like a little pirate skull barrette and then like a little diamond on it. That's actually really cute. And bag number four. Final bag! Well, first and foremost, we got a duplicate. duplicate. <laughs> Trick, Trick exhaust, exhaust whistle. whistle. Easy to do. So you put this in your tailpipe. Just spread the flanges to fit snugly into any size tailpipe. For dual exhaust systems, use two exhaust whistles. This sounds very suggestive. Guys. <laughs> spread them and stick them in the tailpipe. <laughs> don't spread your flanges <laughs> and put a trick. <laughs> pick, pick up something else. Let's, let's, that's enough of that. Look what we got. <laughs> Super Friend Samurai. Nice. Now it looks like he's got actual cloth clothing on. He does, yeah. Other than yeah. his boots. Holy cow. There's a lot. Do you think they made these figures for everyone there? I don't know. That would be a lot to try to collect. It would be. Be fun to find some like the Wonder Woman one maybe. This kind of reminds me of uh, the Stan Lee figure we had bought from Comic Cave a while back. Hey, true believers. And then we've got a snowman. Now he is an itty bitty Disney, so I guess it is Olaf. I was trying to see if it's a not Olaf snowman. <laughs> a, a Nolaf. A Nolaf. It's not a Nolaf, <laughs> but it's an Olaf. He's, he's squishy and he's got the beans in his butt. Yeah, beanie butt. We have Marvel Heroes, and it looks like it's like an activity book. Are all the activities already done? No. Well, that's a plus. It's not like going to the doctor's office when you were a kid and you pick up the activity book and it's all been done already. And then we have Acuity. And it looks like you can make a speedboat. Okay. Lego knockoffs. It looks like it's got a line of just making some, you know, standard vehicles. Let's talk about these mystery bags. Um, There's some fun stuff in there and some not so... Fun stuff. Yeah. I am going to say the value was all across the board on all of these. Some of them felt like a, just the whole thing was like a $5 value. Like uh, I could have gone to the dollar store and... Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe pushing $5 value. Personally, for me, 
I didn't see 20 to $25 of value in any of these, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, I, I would agree, but they're fun, you know? They are still fun. And in all honesty, uh, we're dumb, lame adults. If you're a small child, you know, that mystery thing is a bigger deal because you yeah. don't know what's in there. I mean, we still love the mystery stuff, but if I were a kid, honestly, I, I wouldn't be thinking twice about value. I'd be looking at the fact of I've got an action figure, I've got an activity book, and I've got some Legos to build. So, <laughs> there you go. Take it as it is. Wow. <laughs> nope, you broke her. You really did. Oh, she's fine. Nice. Super friends! Some Sam Samuri? Samari? Are you serious? Samurai? 